What's up everybody? This is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I'm going to be unboxing Final Fantasy Type-0 HD Collector's Edition for the PlayStation 4. So, uh, this is a um, PSP game, or a Vita game, uh, from Japan that has been remastered um, and now released on PS4, PS3, etc. So, this is actually kind of, um, it started out as sort of a spin-off of Final Fantasy XIII, but it's got a very different uh, combat system, and it, it actually makes a lot of changes um, to kind of the core Final Fantasy mechanics. Um, and that's kind of why it's called Type-0, um, at least from, from what I've read. Um, it's because it's sort of a, you know, a number zero, sort of like a rebirth um, of kind of how the systems and stuff like that work. And from what I've heard, um, Final Fantasy XV is going to kind of work very similarly um, to Type-0 HD, or at least it's, it's kind of more in the same vein versus uh, 13 and 13X and all that. So, or 13-2. Um, so yeah. This is the Collector's Edition. Uh, you can only pre-order it from Square Enix directly, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Um, their new their new website is actually much better than their old one. <clears throat> I forget the name of the company that did their previous uh, shipping and stuff. I think it was called Seven Rivers or Digital River or something like that. They sucked. <laughs> um, their new website's a bit better, um, and I got this one pretty promptly without really any um, issues to speak of. So, yeah, I had I had a good experience um, with their new site here. So let me go ahead. Um, this is the box, uh, and it's shrink wrapped. So let me just go ahead and take the shrink wrap off. Um, there's nothing. Um, there's nothing on the outside of the shrink wrap, so. Uh, it'll make sense just to kind of take it off here and kind of uh, slip it off. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the outer box. It's glossy, as you can see, with the light um, sort of reflecting off of it there. Um, it's very, it's a solid, glossy print here. And this is kind of like a light um, cardboard outer box. So this is not like really hard. It's not like hard cardboard. Um, it's just kind of like, you can see it there, it's just like a thin um, cardboard outer box that's holding everything together. Um, and if I can get it to focus, you can see the artwork there. The artwork is very cool. Um, it's not metallic per se. Um, whatever ink or whatnot that they use to print this. Um, it's not like shiny, but um, it is kind of um, golden in color. Uh, this is rated M for mature. I actually didn't notice that. I wonder if all the Final Fantasy games are. Um, this is what the side looks like. So uh, it's all region, in case you're wondering, and the art kind of wraps uh, around the side there. Uh, same thing on the other side. So the art kind of wraps around on this side as well. It says PS4 at the top. It's got the big PS4 ribbon up there. This is the bottom. Um, so just the logo, nothing else. Here is the top, which is just uh, all blue. <laughs> so that's what you're looking at here on the outside. So let's take a look on the inside, shall we? Um, the, the box came a little bit bent up, like you see this bend right here, um, and there's another one right here that you can kind of see. So I guess it just happened during shipping, I don't know. Um, but here's the back actually before I get into the insides. Um, <clears throat> And this includes the Final Fantasy XV demo, which is awesome. Um, so this is the contents. It kind of shows you everything right there. Um, so the outer box, the steel book, the actual game, the um, soundtrack, replica cards, a 200-page manga, an 80-page art book, um, and that a code for the um, first Final Fantasy XV demo. So this is pretty hefty at 35 gigs minimum. 
Um, but it does, of course, like everything else, support remote play, um, DualShock 4, um, single player, uh, 1080p output, all region. So there you go. So let us take a look inside here. So this is what everything looks like when you first open it up. This is how it's all packed in there. Um, but to kind of uh, make it easier to see, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take each piece out one at a time, uh, starting starting uh, at the top of the art book. But this is how it's all sort of stacked in here. And this is like an empty um, space right there, just to hold things in place, I guess. Yeah. So let's, let me go ahead and take things out one at a time so you can see them here. So here is the art book. It says Class Zero, 842, Rubrum. Orients. Um, I don't really know about the story, so I'm assuming this has something to do with the plot. And that's what this side looks like. This is like a flat, um, a flat print here, and this is the back. So it's kind of it's got these fake. Um, these aren't actually metal. This is just printed on um, to the artwork, but it's kind of made to look like a like a leather bound book or something like that. But the, it's not leather bound. It's just. Uh, it is hardback, though. So the inside has got this cool red design. And then I'm just going to flip through real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what's in here. Uh, a lot of concept art. Um, you know, pencil drawings, paintings, um, uh, bios on the characters, all that kind of stuff. And here is the table of contents, should you be interested. Um, so yeah, and it's, it's got a welcome letter from Hajime Tabata, uh, from the director. And the back has that same red design. So that is the art book. I believe it's about 80 pages. Now, here, we have the manga. So this is a 200-page manga. Um, it's got a, it's a paperback, and this is what the actual cover looks like, but it actually has a dust cover, like a dust jacket on it, which is kind of cool. Um, so a little note there. So again, uh, I'm not going to show you the entire thing. And this one is actually kind of bent up, which I'm a little annoyed about. Um, I just took it out, you know, of the uh, thing for the first time. So this corner actually got a little uh, bent up, I guess, uh, during sh when it was when it was placed in there, I guess. Uh, that's kind of um, annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> it's not ripped or anything, so I can deal with that. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's black and white, sort of, um, like, uh, paperback quality paper. Black and white, you can see the whole thing there. And there's the, it has the same sort of gear design, but in this case it's in black and white. And there's the back cover there. So, I can't wait to read that, that's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, that's real cool. You can see it's pretty thick there. Okay, so this are these are the replica cards here. So these are a replica of um, something inside of a game. Let me see if I can open these without uh, messing up the sleeve that they're in. I don't want to open it, not down, but like across, so that I can put them back in. Let me let me try to get these out for you guys. There we go. Okay. 
So these are the cards. They're pretty big. Like, that's my hand, and they're like, you know, that wide. So they're pretty big. They all have the same backing. Um, and this is what all the art looks like. So I'll kind of give you a close up there. And there are five of them. All different colors, um, all different uh, art designs. So that's cool. Um, I kind of wish they came in a little bit better plastic case. Because um, it's going to take me some effort uh, to put these back in. Um, maybe I'll put these back in after I finish with the video here. Um, but those are those. Are those. They were just kind of slipped in there. The last thing in the box is the steel book with the game inside. So I'll show you. The artwork actually, I think, goes this way. But you can see it's metallic. Um, it's like gold metallic for the most part um, with sort of a white um, artwork design on it. You can see the, sh the sheen sort of on it there when I um, make the light go across it right there. It's the side with a little indent to open it up. The art wraps around the top. And I'm glad, I like the steel books that have a nameplate on the side. I have a few that don't. So I'm glad that uh, when they put it on the spine here. So this is like a plastic piece. Um, if it'll focus, that has the name of it, so that's good. And from what I can tell, oh no, so that was the back. So this is the art on the back, there's the spine, uh, and this is the art on the front. So you can see that there. Really cool looking, just like beautiful. And it wraps all the way around the top, and the sides, and the bottom. Um, so the art uh, wraps all the way around. Now let me open this up because, as I suspected, bam, the first thing on top here is the um, Final Fantasy XV demo voucher. The code is on the back for PSN. That is amazing. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I picked up the collector's edition. Here is the manual. Uh, let me make sure there's no codes. There's no codes in here. So this is just, there's no pages, it's just uh, folded in half. Um, but there is some, you know, warranty information, stuff like that. Where to download the manual. So it comes with a little bit of um, an instruction manual kind of thing. And the third thing that's in the case is the uh, soundtrack um, listing, basically. So again, it's just um, one piece of paper folded in half, and it tells you the titles of everything on the soundtrack. It's got sort of a little bit of cool artwork on it. It's like glossy paper. So that's the third insert. And then in, this is the inside of the case itself. So we have here um, the actual game disc, which you can see is kind of glossy. Um, and again, and these are the two images from the front and the back of the case um, on opposite sides of the game disc there. Here on this side is the soundtrack. And this is actually um, sort of the disc material there. Um, and the rest of it is kind of a matte white. And let me just double check. I don't think there's any art behind these. Oh no, there is art behind these. So there's a Japanese symbol behind each of the discs, which is really cool. You can kind of see them there. They're very faint, um, but you can see them when you're looking at them in real life. Uh, so yeah, this that's the last thing in the box there. So let me go ahead and place these back in, and then I'll put back in the soundtrack insert. And the manual insert. It's kind of a tight fit in there. And then the demo voucher. So I'll look forward to downloading that too. So yeah. 
that is the game itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that back in here, like so. Let's see if I can manage to put everything back in. Um, then we have the cards. Then we have the manga. And on the very top, we have the art book. All back in there. Close it back up on the top. And there you have it. Final Fantasy Type-0 HD Collector's Edition for PS4. So if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And uh, if you guys like video game unboxings, anime unboxings, uh, all kinds of stuff like that, um, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you'll get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.